How you guys doing? It's Statmods today, and I'm here with another informative Lost Ark video. Today we're going to be talking about Anguished Island. It's pretty much the only island in Tier 3 that you have to do every day. If I open up my mini-map, I will show you the location. So here is Apunika. If you click on this little square below, you'll see its location here. It says you need item level 1100 to reach it. Uh, this is not true. You can actually come to this island before you reach Tier 3, uh, and you can build up keys. There's this little daily quest over here. I actually just got done grinding it, and that's actually why we're making this video, because a lot of people still don't know about it. So you want to come to English Island every day. You do this little daily quest. You can start accumulating the keys before you hit Tier 3, when you're in Tier 2. And then once you get to Tier 3, uh, you will get the ability to enter the dungeon. The dungeon is right over here. Okay, so you notice I have three keys built up. You don't have to use them right away. But you can only farm one key per day per roster. So, you know, like across your account. You can enter the dungeon as many times as you want per day. Your only limitation is the key itself. Now, why is this island so important? Why do you want to do it every day in Tier 3? Well, there's this vendor outside, okay? It's called Exchange Crimson Island. Okay, and you'll notice I've bought most of the things here, right? There's like little chests or whatever, and they say roster limit, right? So you could buy it like one time uh, for, for like your roster. However, on the second page, there's this very important thing. There's these leap stones. These leap stones are not one time uh, per roster. It's one time per character. So every single character that you get to 915 item level and 1302 item level can use your roster wide materials to buy these chests and then once you get those chests they're uh they're not character bound they're roster bound so you can just like imagine that's a chest or whatever and you just put it there and you can funnel all those materials to another character or whatever character you want of your liking that's basically it that's why english island is so good just do it once a day run your dungeons get your keys then every single character that you make can purchase these leap stones once you get the appropriate item level and transfer it to any other character. So like technically these honor leap stones, the 1302, you could transfer them to your main, uh, go near the honing vendor in town, transfer the honor leap stones into greater honor leap stones and use that to boost your item level. Uh, yeah, there's also like some, um, there's also some collectible stuff that you could do on this island. You get your island soul. Uh, which I already got, and then you can also do your Omnistar. Your Omnistar from this island will come from the boss. So, you can just like go to your collectibles real quick, and you'll see I have uh, my English Island Omnistar, right? Garden of Despair. That's how you get that. Your Omnistar. Okay, anyways, that's it. Do, anyways, do English Island every day. It's good. For your character, it's good for your account. Just make sure to do it every single day. Okay, bye.